Hi, coming to you from my garage with another big man gear review for backpacking. I'm six foot six, I weigh 215 pounds. A lot of things that fit normal people just don't fit us. If you're a big person, you understand what I'm saying. So I went on a backpacking trip last weekend with my family and I said, I wanna bring a chair. I'm uncomfortable, I'm hanging out. We did a lot of hanging out at camp and I wanted a chair. So I went down the rabbit hole sidebar. This is a picture of Lake Adiza in the Ansel Adams Wilderness that I took. Look at that, my friends and our campsite is right here. These are our tents. Anyway, that was after a night of crazy thunderstorms. Sorry, I get distracted. So we're, I was like, I want a chair. I went down the rabbit hole of camp chairs. I used to have a, I used to bring a long back Crazy Creek chair, but it was like 26 ounces. And finally I was like, oh, I don't want to bring that. And on this last trip, I was like, no, bring it. Like, that's totally worth it. I've gone ultralight on so many other things that it frees up that you know, space for that luxury item. And anyway, went down the rabbit hole, learned about all these new chairs, like the Skyline UL from Big Agnes, the Helinox Chair One. That was a fly in my garage. Thank you. And all this stuff. So I read, I watched all the reviews. I read the, I read the reviews. I watched the YouTube videos. And so many people were like, this one's so comfortable. This one's so comfortable. I love this one. Went to REI, sat in all of them. Guess what? For the punchline, none of them are comfortable. None of them, because they dig into my back, because I'm, my, I'm very tall. They dig into my back right under my shoulder blades, almost every single one of them. That's the Helinox Chair One, that's the Nemo Elite reclining chair. There was one chair of that design, that like off the ground design, that felt pretty comfortable, and that was the Nemo Moonlight Reclining. Not the Moonlight Elite, the Moonlight Reclining. And that is one that I would buy, but it's $179, and I found the comfort to be about equal to my Crazy Creek. The only difference is the Crazy Creek's on the ground, which helps when you're cooking dinner, so you're not leaning over to tend a pot or something, you're right there with it. You don't have, a, you're not carrying a table with you on a backpacking trip. And sure, it's harder to get off the ground, but if you're in shape, you know, those are the kind of like people like, oh, the people in Japan that sit on the ground, they have really good core because they're up and down off the ground all day. So like, maybe that's just an exercise you should be doing, who knows? Anyway, I went to REI, here's a chaotic little video, sat in all the chairs, they were all terrible. All of them, all the sub 32 ounce chairs, horribly uncomfortable. The Helinox chair one, I was sure I was gonna break it. Some of them I, I definitely would break, except for the Moonlight. The Moonlight reclining non-elite chair felt sturdy, felt durable, and was comfortable. I'm just not spending $180 on it. Here's the small chaotic video. Enjoy or not, sorry, or you're welcome. All right, people, we're coming to you live from REI. We're testing out camp chairs. I am sitting in the Nemo reclining chair. I'm six foot seven. It is the only one that doesn't hit me uncomfortably in the shoulder blades. It's the only one that's tall enough. Here's the Big Agnes Skyline UL. It is stable enough for me. I'm 220, but it comes just doesn't come up high enough. It's incredibly uncomfortable. Then we've got the REI Flex Light Air that I'm definitely gonna break. It's just nowhere near sturdy enough for me. And same for the Helinox Chair One. The Helinox Chair One is just, Jesus. I almost broke it right there. Just not make for big people. And this nope. Is, and this is my favorite one. It's his favorite one because he's, seven then the, the nemo elite reclining uh is nice this is the nemo elite reclining it's nice but again the back just digs in right underneath my shoulder blades so what i've come down to is the only lightweight chair that i would carry is the nemo reclining but I don't find it to be any more comfortable than my 25 year old Crazy Creek high back. And with my Crazy Creek high back, I can sit on the ground next to my pot boiling my food and have easy access to it. Just as comfortable. Very comfortable behind on my back. And it's right on the ground, so it's next to whatever I'm doing. It's $34 for the high back. I think the, the new high back version, this, this Hex. Oh, we got lots of kids going on. This Hex, $34.
$170 for that. Comfort's the same. Weight is the same. That's a little bit heavier. Crazy Creek people. Yeah, but it's hard to get off the ground. And work on your core, dude. Get a little better shape and you're gonna be just fine. Crazy Creek for the win. Can't cheers, bye-bye. Sorry, that was a bit chaotic, but here are the results. Helinox Chair 1, no way. Nemo Elite, no way. Very uncomfortable. REI, FlexLink Air, and Camp, very uncomfortable. The only one was this Nemo reclining that worked and didn't dig into my back. And like I said, six foot, six foot six. But it's not any more comfortable than my old Crazy Creek. So Big Agnes, Skyline, UL, nope. Everything's a nope. I mean, these ones with the tall back obviously would be good, but too much weight to carry. So anyway, back to the good old reliable. Sorry if that video was annoying. Just quick summary. You need to do your own research. You need to put your butt in the chairs. Do not trust what anyone says online, especially if you're a bigger person or a smaller person or an odd shaped person or whatever kind of person you are. You gotta sit in the chair. If that means you gotta order seven and take six back or you gotta go to REI or you happen to have a friend that has a chair and you love it, fine. But you have to sit in it yourself. Don't trust what other people say.